Hi, it's Leila here. So you know that growing collection of files on your computer? What if you had to reorganize and rename a hundred of those files? It's not something you want to do manually. Well, luckily there is a tool that saves you hours, plus it's really easy to use. Some time ago, I made a video on how to use Power Automate Desktop to rename many files. There we covered a simple, but also a more complex renaming task. Now, Power Automate Desktop can do a lot more than renaming and it can get quite tricky. An alternative software you can use for simple file renaming is Total Commander, which is a shareware file manager for Windows. The built-in Windows File Explorer is limited in its features. This is where Total Commander shines. One of the features is a powerful multi-rename tool that lets you rename files with just a few clicks. Before we do our few clicks, we need to download it. So in case you don't have it, you can download a 32-bit or a 64-bit version from a website called gistler.com, which is named after the creator of Total Commander. Now, after you installed it, open it, and you'll come to this view. You can use a fully functional version for a month. Just select the right button here, and you'll see two file windows side by side. If you need to move files, then you're gonna need a second one. But since we're just dealing with existing files, we're gonna stick to the left window. And what you see here is a glimpse of your file explorer. So here I can see this is my C drive. You can change directories from here and you can navigate by just clicking on a folder. If you need to go back, you can click the back button to go up. Now here you see that I have a sales folder and then I have a subfolder inside that sales folder. I want to rename some of these files, but before I do that, I want to show you another cool feature that I really like. If I wanted to get the complete file path of, let's say, these files, I'm just going to select them by holding down control. And then from this menu here, there is a feature called copy names with full path. I'm going to select that. Then let's open up Excel and press control V and I have the complete path here. If I wanted the complete path of everything, I can press Control A to select everything here, and that includes the folder as well. Again, if I go and copy these names, go to Excel, paste them here, I have everything in one place. Now, what if you didn't want the folder, but you wanted the path of the files inside that folder? Well, there is a great shortcut for that. Control B selects all the files and it also looks inside the subfolders. Then we can do Control A to select everything, copy file path, go and paste it in here. And now we also have the path of the files inside our subfolder. Okay, so a really cool, neat feature that is just so easy to use. Now let's talk about renaming files. The first step you need to do is to select the files you want to rename. So in this case, I have all files selected, also files inside subfolders. In case you're wondering though, how do you get back to the previous view? Because maybe you don't want that. You can press Control B again and you're back and then you can select the specific files that you want to rename. Or you also have this cool function that inverts your selection. So if you want to select everything else except these files, you can click on that. If you want to exclude some files, you just have to right mouse click on the name of the files to exclude it. Let's assume in our case, I want to rename all of these files and also include the ones I have in the subfolder. So what was the shortcut key? It was control B, then control A to select everything. To bring up the rename utility, you can use the shortcut key control M or just click on this button. Now this dialog box does look a little bit overwhelming, but it's not too difficult to get the hang of. On the bottom here, you see the old file name. Basically, these are your existing file names. And here you get to see the new file name once you're applying your changes. But this is just a preview. It's only reflected in Explorer once you click on Start. And even if you make a mistake, you have the ability to undo. Up here, you'll have different functionalities that help you in the renaming process. So for example, the rename mask, this N here, that's just a placeholder for your existing file names. You also have a placeholder for the existing extensions. Other placeholders are here, for example, one for counter. So let's say I remove that placeholder name. I can see the moment I do that, all my names disappeared. If I type in sales, 
They're all going to be called sales. When I press on C, they're going to get a counter. If I want a space between them, I'm just going to add a space here. And let's say I don't want them to be one, two, three like this. I want to have them to be, let's say, three digits or four digits. You can make that selection from here. If you're happy with this, you can click on start. Now, in this case, I don't want that. I'm just going to go back, delete this and put the current name placeholder and show you another handy feature, which is upper lowercase. So currently it's an unchanged. Basically, the case of the old and new are the same. I could go with all lowercase or all uppercase or just the first letter uppercase, because currently some are lowercase, some are uppercase. But then that changes my actual and the B becomes lowercase. I don't want that. I can go with first letter of each word to be uppercase. Now this looks a lot better. You also have the ability to add a suffix or a prefix to this. Let's say I want to add the date of the file to the end of the file name. I'm going to put an underscore here and then select YMD. This copies over the date that it was last edited and puts it in YMD format. So first is year, then month, and then day. If you don't want the day, you can just remove that. You could, of course, also add this before the name. And if you want the suffix to be fixed, you can just type it in here. So let's say I want 20, 22, 0, 9, 20. If I want a prefix as well, I can go to the front and add it in here as well. Okay, so in this case, I'm just going to remove that and keep this in. Let's just remove the day here. And let's say we're happy with this. We actually want to apply this. We're going to click on start, then close. And we see the file names adjusted here. So if I bring up my Explorer, we can see the file names have been adjusted. If I look into the other folder, these have been updated as well. There is also a cool search and replace functionality. I'm just going to go back to my previous view, press Control A to select these. I'm going to exclude the files in this folder and bring up the rename dialog box by pressing Control M. If I want to replace specific words here, I can just search for them. So let's say I want to replace actual with something else. If I just want to get rid of it completely, I can get rid of it like this, or I can replace it with another word. In this case, I'm going to keep actual in there, but I don't like that I have underscore here and here I just have a dash. So I'm going to replace the dash with an underscore. Now notice though, I'm getting that suffix two times. Why? Because it's remembered my settings from before. So I'm just going to remove that. I don't want that in the final outcome. But another thing I do want to change is the extension. So instead of these being txt files, I want them to be CSV files. These look good. Let's start and close this. And now we've created CSV files out of our text files. One other cool option I want to show you is to grab a range. So let's say we've decided that we don't need sales underscore actual. We just want the middle part of this name. So some are two characters, some are more. We always want to grab that middle part. There are some features that help you do that. I'm just going to press Control A to select this. Right mouse click to unselect Control M to bring up the rename tool. And here you can use the range. You get to select the characters that you want to insert. So I want to insert these. And when I do that, it tells me this is character 14 to 17. And you have options to modify here. But right now, this makes it fixed. I don't want it fixed because the length of these are different. There's a cool option here that allows you to measure the last character from the end. So basically 14 characters from the beginning and eight from the end. And when I click on OK, I get the middle part correctly extracted. And if I'm happy with this, I'm going to click on start, close, and all my files have been renamed. Now, this is just the simple side of the renaming capabilities of Total Commander. You might have noticed there are a lot more features you can use here, for example, regular expressions which are great if you're looking for specific patterns that you want to replace. Also, Total Commander has a lot more features than just renaming. You can compare files by content, synchronize two directories, or connect to an FTP server. 
So as you can see, Total Commander is one of those few magical tools that help you be more productive. And being productive isn't about just getting more work done. It's about being more efficient so you can focus on the things that are important to you. Let me know in the comments if you're using Total Commander and what you use it for. As always, thank you for watching. Subscribe if you aren't subscribed yet. And I'm going to see you in the next video.